sure all the ends are on because sometimes I drain the um, booms on the ends. All looks good to me. All that's hooked on. Ready to go. That's why you wear gloves hooking stuff up because you get absolutely covered in grease. But uh, we're going to fill her up. The beauty about Isobus is the control pull comes through to this screen. Um, I've got this joystick as well that we use for unfolding the boom and that, but that's the main control page. As you can see, it is uh, updated the track spacing on the GPS to the 24 meters. Uh, it tells that to do it. Before I do anything else, I'm just going to set up product. Um, so, what we're doing is glyphosate. So, I don't think I've got one set up. Good. Good morning, people of YouTube. How are we? As you might be able to tell, today we're going spraying. We're um, sort of setting up for getting the next crop in the ground for next year. Um, we've got 50 acres of wheat that you would have seen us combining and picking the straw up off at home here. And earlier on, um, at the end of August, we picked up the oats from our off ground. So that's where I'm heading today. I'm going up to the off-ground. Um, I'm not spraying off the stubbles because they haven't greened up yet. I'm, uh, I'm actually going to spray off another grass field. We're going to slightly increase the acreage of arable that we grow up here. So that is where we're heading. It never gets boring going up these narrow lanes with wide machines. So uh, I will explain a little bit more once we get up there and uh, see if I can remember how to use a spray because I haven't used it for so long. So guys, we have made it to the field. Um, this field is called Brimley. It's 3.4-ish hectares, so seven or eight acres big. Um, and it'll make a nice addition up here to our arable cropping. The two fields the other side of that hedge are where the oats were that you would have seen in the last couple of videos. Um, and having this field into arable as well will actually probably double our arable acreage um, up on the off ground here so the reason we've chosen to do with this field is you can see right in the corner there's a gate that leads on to the arable fields next door um, and also some of the other grass fields but this field's a bit tricky um, to get cattle in and out of because you've got to sort of go through the corner of one of the crop fields which can be disastrous if it goes wrong and also to get them out um, to the handling which is down by that shed um, the gateway's in this top corner so that's also difficult you get some animals go out and others don't want to follow and blah de blah so that's why we're putting it into cropping so this is going to go into barley along with the other two fields next door and uh, we'll get it sprayed off and then we need to come and trim the hedges pretty sharpish because we want them trimmed back before we do any groundwork right we've had loads of new subscribers recently so just for their benefit and everyone else if you're interested this is the outfit we're using so it's the 6155 R that I normally drive here along with the 732i um, trail John Deere sprayer so it's 24 meter booms it can hold 3200 litres of water um, or mix whatever you want it also has a 400 litre fresh water tank for uh, rinsing out at the end um, it's all run through isobus uh, and runs off the GPS so it's easy to use um, you just set it all up on the computer and away you go touching on the new subscribers if you are a new subscriber let me know where you're from and if you're in farming or you're not in farming I'm trying to get a better understanding of the people that um, come and watch my videos um, and also to everyone else that's been a subscriber for a long time let me know in the comments if you are um, in farming or you're not in farming or you're interested in agriculture or you know what what brings you to watch the videos I'm really interested to find out um, why people come and watch so we'll uh, crack on with a bit of spraying right so see if we can figure out how to unfold this thing I haven't done it for a while and a lot of the buttons are a bit temperamental yeah. Boom's active, I know the boom's active. I'm trying to fold it out. There we go. The last thing I sprayed with this was um nitrogen fertilizer, liquid and fertilizer. So um 
that won't matter because I see if anyone watches Ollie vlogs, Ollie Ag Contract on YouTube, he actually put a bit of liquid N in his glyphosate mix to spice it up a bit and get everything to cook off a bit quick. They got these push fittings with a little clip on them and I just pop one off but spotted it soon enough just go out there in the suit and gloves and visor because it's all covered in roundup and uh, pop it back on right in the corner It looks quite slow, but I'd rather do a good job than a rush job. Right, so we're now running on the uh, GPS. Made a line down the middle of the field, as you can see. This sprayer does have like an active steering system on it, so it will follow you exactly. Um, really handy in tram lines in a growing crop. Um, when you're on grass or stubble, it really doesn't matter, you're not really squashing anything, um, so don't tend to use it. So yeah, the active system, active steering is really good in the crops uh, when you've got tram lines, because you just follow the tractor wheels with the sprayer wheels exactly. There's like a little um, link arm that comes onto the back of the tractor, two little sensors that as they get covered up it steers the axles. There is a little wet spot there. So I think you went through it all right. But we are covering some ground. It's amazing how much ground you cover when you're doing 24 meters at a time. It doesn't take very long, even at slow speeds. Well folks, 20 minutes later we're all done. So hopefully that will cook that grass. Uh, I forgot to say earlier, this field was grazed about 10 days ago. Um, pretty hard by the cows, got them to eat it right down and um, so it's just sort of started regrowing again and that's a really good time to hit it with the roundup because it will be looking for that moisture it's been quite dry, it wants a bit of rain so anything it can get it will take in so should cook that up a treat and then uh, we'll have to come up and flower it and drill it at some point but I need to get myself back out onto the road here a minute without hitting anything or anyone The sprayer is pretty good, it follows the tractor really well anyway. There's no one behind me. Back back. Don't want to have to walk too far, do we? Right. Shut the gate, head for home. Right guys, change of job this afternoon. We're uh, first spreading. I'll just lift the off up a bit. And uh, we're in my least favourite field on the farm. If you've watched some previous FERT spreading videos, it's the one that is in two fields on the GPS with six fields inside an 11 hectare boundary. So I've had enough of doing it in two halves because it's very awkward. So I'm making my life easier and I'm creating a new boundary right around the outside to make it one field. So that's what we're doing here on the uh, GPS. We're just going to drive right around the outside of the field. Um, and then that will give us our outside boundary then we'll be able to spread inside it because I've got to go in and out of all these paddocks and uh, there used to be where this gate is a split right up the middle of the field and it used to be two paddocks and of course on the GPS it still is but that makes it very annoying for doing some of the paddocks that cross over that boundary because I can spread so far but then when you end up in the next paddock the uh, spreader turns itself off so make it one field on the GPS 
something I've been meaning to do for a long time and just never done, so the job will be a good one. Right, I've finished my boundary, and we are spreading. So what we're spreading is MOP, it's muriate of potash. Um, and we're just putting on a bit of grazing ground. Um, the ground we're on is used for an experiment, so I think it's just part of the experiment. It has its top up of stuff every year. Um, which lines up with RB209 for grazing ground, so it's a lot easier. Now, what I've just gone past there, that gateway, I don't know if you can see it behind me, used to be the division for the field, so I get that far and then this would stop spreading, which is a bit annoying, so that's why I've um, remapped it, so I've got to keep stopping all the time. So, what we're spreading, we're only putting on 50 kilos a hectare, so if you open the back window, just about hear it coming out, but you sort of got to just trust that the settings are right and let it get on with its own thing. Because otherwise, you'd never, never trust it to be correct. Finish the most awkward field on the farm. Heading back to base, so I'm just going to put a little bit of nitrogen in um, and do one small paddock that we want to make to bales um, in a couple of weeks' time, just to have a buffer of food for one of the research groups of cows. Um, so we're going for that in a minute, it's only a couple hundred kilos we need. And then we'll be done and that'll be the last time that we use this spreader I imagine. We've got the money now come through to go and buy a new one. So um, we've been looking at three different brands. I won't say what they are. We're pretty sure on one of the ones that we want. Um, the case of doing a deal now on whether they'll take this one in part exchange but this spreader works fine when it's working it's just got an awful habit of letting you down right when you want it so um, it's done its time on the farm and it'll be moved on of course on its last trip out it would let me down wouldn't it i put enough fertilizer in to do this bit of a uh, fit well, i put the rest of a bag we had in and then divided the weight by the size of the field, so I knew I just put on per hectare, uh, which is fine. Plumbed it all into the settings, and then set off. And uh, the weigh cells are telling me I've still got a load left in there when I haven't. So that's it. That was the last hurrah for the uh, old KV spinner we got here. By the way, just shut that gate. And there we have it, all done. I've parked it down here, I'll give it a wash tomorrow morning before um, it gets traded in, but uh, that is all the work I'm ever gonna do with that spreader. It's been emotional. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. It's been a bit different, but a spraying. I'm probably gonna be moving on to cultivations, hopefully in the morning, so that'll probably be the next video. But uh, if you have enjoyed it, then please remember to uh, smash the thumbs up button. That's a thumb. Uh, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to the channel. We uh, seem to be gaining subscribers quite fast at the minute, so that's really cool. If you'd like any JM Farming merch, send me a message on any one of my socials. They will be on the bottom of the screen now. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching, and cheerio.